From the Puppet Master to Child's Play to the more recently popular Annabelle, dolls have made quite a creepy name for themselves. In fact, it has come to the point where we really don't need any scary stories or videos to make dolls frightening. Many people can simply walk into a room with a doll and suddenly feel uneasy. Just in case you didn't already fear dolls enough though, here are 15 haunted dolls caught on tape. Number 15. The Angry Doll This video has been on YouTube since as early as 2009 and has been shared and talked about countless times. It's just such a convincing and scary video that no doll list would be complete without it. This young girl is holding a large doll which appears to be a quinceanera doll, which is a doll given to girls at their 15th birthday celebration. The dolls are dressed to look similar to the teenager receiving them and are meant to symbolize the final toy the teenage girl will receive before becoming a woman. The doll is wearing a very extravagant dress as well as a tiara. The girl holding the doll is speaking Spanish but she seems to be saying something about the doll being ugly. The doll quickly moves its head towards the girl and the person holding the camera alerts her. Once the young girl notices that the doll's head has moved, she throws the doll down and screams. Unlike in some other videos, the girl doesn't laugh at all and there isn't even a clear smile on her face. Real or not, something clearly happened here that genuinely terrified her. It's a proven fact that generosity makes you a happier person. So if you're generous enough to like this video, then thank you because it really helps us out. Number 14. Possessed Barbie when you think of haunted dolls, you probably picture a cracked porcelain doll with dead eyes or a rotting away baby doll with an eerie laugh. Like some of the previous entries in this list, it's hard to take the beloved and beautiful Barbie and see it as creepy. This video will make you think twice about that mentality. Really, any object can be haunted by a strong enough spirit or entity, so leaving Barbie out is just wrong. This little girl is having a great time playing with her two dolls, talking in different voices for each of them. A male voice calls from another room and the child responds. As she turns back to her Barbie, not a second passes before the doll sharply turns its head towards the child. The little girl immediately throws the dolls down, screams, and nearly falls backwards. The video ends there and there's no information on what became of this haunted doll or child. Number 13. Composition Doll A composition doll is a baby doll made with the old technique of using sawdust, glue, cornstarch, resin, and wood flour. They were popular during the 19th century but production ceased when plastic became the popular material for toys and dolls. Therefore, it's clear that the composition doll featured in this video is at least 70 years old and possibly even older. According to the description for this April 2016 upload, the owners purchased the doll at a flea market and were given little information about the antique. The doll allegedly did not begin to move until the couple placed it on their chaise. In addition, the owners did not believe in ghosts, so they are astonished by this evidence. With how old and damaged this doll is, the slow and convincing movement is truly horrific. Number 12. Old Doll This short and simple video shows something quite unsettling. The owner of the doll decided to leave a camera rolling on two separate occasions when they left the house. While they were gone over several hours, the doll moved its hands constantly. While the movements are slight, they are very visible and very disturbing once the footage is sped up slightly. The broken and old appearance of the doll only adds to the creepy aura. Apparently, this doll is over 100 years old, meaning that it's had quite a long life, and likely countless owners or spirits that could likely be haunting and manipulating it. Number 11. A New Gift Some children often believe their toys to be alive or have feelings. 
In fact, it's quite common for kids to believe that their toys get jealous of one another. If you believe in these haunted dolls, this video could be proof that toys really do become envious of other playthings. This video was uploaded sometime in 2009 and features a mother recording her daughter receiving a new toy. Before the video begins, a short explanation reads that the mother didn't notice anything at the time, but upon reviewing the clip later, she noticed a candle rolling on the desk behind her daughter. She apparently showed the clip to her son, who pointed out that the doll moved its right hand. The little girl is excited about her toy and tells her mom she wants to name him Lovable. The mother questions this name choice and at that exact moment, the doll's hand moves slightly but clearly. The candle, in response, rolls away from the doll despite the doll having not made contact with the candle at all. What's his name? Lovable. Sure his name isn't like Fred or Henry? Oh, it's so cute. For the remainder of the short video, the doll doesn't move an inch. And since this video has been re-uploaded to several channels, it isn't known if there was ever an update. Number 10. The Doll on the Shelf This video was posted in October 2011 and starts out innocently. Three children are sitting around a table while playing around. A young girl begins to time herself while she stacks cups in a quick pace game. The other two children stand by and watch. In the excitement of the energetic game, no one seems to notice the little doll on the shelf behind them. The doll was laying down when the video began, but as soon as the young girl begins to stack cups, the doll slowly rises to a seated position, similar to the way you would imagine a corpse rising from its coffin. Once in its new position, the doll doesn't seem to move again and peers motionless over the room. The description for this upload explains that whoever recorded the video did not notice the doll while filming, but saw it later when reviewing the clip. The uploader also states, I am very worried and cannot figure out how this happened. If you have any suggestions on what to do, please message me. I have put the doll away in an old barn I have. There are no updates or even related videos on this channel and the problem likely resolved itself or the original uploader decided to keep any haunting information off the internet. Number 9. Sherry's Collection Despite so many people having such a grave fear of dolls, there are a few rare people in the world who love the lifelike toys. This video allegedly shows the collection of Sherry Schoon, a doll collector recording a short video to show off her impressive and slightly unsettling assortment of dolls. The dolls range from baby dolls to porcelain dolls, with a sprinkle of purposely creepy dolls. There has to be at least a hundred dolls visible in this video, as childlike creepy music plays in the background. While Sherry showcases several dolls standing on one side of the room, the camera pans over a short baby doll in a red and black dress. Though it happens quickly, the doll's right arm clearly switches from an outreach position to a downward point. Sherry doesn't seem to notice this as she goes about showing off her dolls, although she must have noticed later as it is pointed out in the title and description of the video. Again, while most of us would have set fire to the doll and ran for the hills, Sherry doesn't seem to have an issue with it. In fact, in accordance to some of her other uploads, she seems to have a particular interest in creepy or haunted dolls. Nothing wrong with having a unique hobby, but most of us can agree we aren't brave enough to fill our homes with haunted dolls. Number 8. Spunk Flunk In August 2015, vlog YouTuber Spunk Flunk was challenged by a viewer to purchase a haunted doll on eBay and keep it for as long as he could, as well as feature it in some upcoming videos. Spunk agreed to the challenge and purchased the doll. They took several photos and videos of the doll over the next couple of months, but nothing interesting seemed to happen until October 2015. Spunk was posting a quick vlog asking viewers to follow him on Google+. He had the doll in the background and in shot as part of the challenge. As he talks about needing help from viewers, at about the 29 second mark, the doll's right hand moves slightly. Spunk claims he didn't even notice this until a viewer pointed it out in the comments. 
um, click add to circles and then just click following that'd be awesome it'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1,000 followers probably within a you know like five to six days and then I'll finally have a little um, click add to circles and then just click following that'd be awesome it'll only take like a few seconds and that'll get me to 1,000 followers probably within a you know like five to six days and then after this video spunk began experiencing more and more strange events the doll would move from the spots it was left other objects would be moved allegedly by the doll. He caught an EVP from the doll and in one video he seems to be possessed while holding the doll. During the EVP session, the app he uses works as a gateway to apparently allow the doll to communicate. Spunk asks if she's a ghost and she says, not a ghost. At one point, in an agonizing voice even begs, free me. Hello. Well, over a year later, after countless menacing events related to the doll, Spunk decided he didn't need the negative energy anymore. He sells the doll on eBay, but does one more EVP session in the car before shipping it off. Although it's unclear what the EVP app says, it sounds like sell and goodbye. Number 7. The Nutcracker The Nutcracker dolls were first made in 17th century Germany where they were modeled after soldiers. As the years went on, the design changed, as did the attire of most soldiers. The wooden dolls are said to be good luck totems, and their teeth allegedly keep away bad spirits. However, in this case, we aren't so sure if that defense is working, as an evil spirit could possibly be attached to this nutcracker. This video of a traditional nutcracker has over 100,000 views, and it isn't because it's adorable. The original uploader claimed that this doll was in their family for over 400 years, and it was always rumored to be haunted. As more of a joke than investigation, the current owner decided to record the doll when no one was around. In this minute-long video, the figure closes its mouth, shakes back and forth, and even completely turns around. While this toy is moving, a dog seems unsettled by the actions of the doll. The interesting fact here is that it's a common belief that animals can see spirits in realms that humans cannot. Using this presumption, we can infer that the small dog is seeing the spirit manipulating the figurine. This clip has been sped up slightly to make the movements more visible. Number 6. Kablam Here we see another lover of dolls, specifically haunted or creepy dolls. Kablam is a vlog-style YouTuber that collects dolls, most of which are allegedly haunted. In several videos, Kablam introduces to us these haunted dolls and tells us a bit about them. In one of these videos, uploaded in August 2015, she introduces us to two of her dolls. Meanwhile, a blonde doll in the background can be seen moving slightly throughout the video. At first, it seems like the doll is just slowly moving or slumping over due to gravity. When paying close attention, however, the doll doesn't just slowly fall forward and moves back and forth in position. These dolls, if not a bunch of them, have some sort of an energy to them. And that it's not the best kind of energy that, you know, is a good thing to have around. And that just kind of makes me... A little bit weary. Furthermore, Kablam addresses this movement in another video. She explains that she notices the doll's movements in the previous vlog, so she sets up her camera to see if she can catch the doll moving without anyone in the room. During this short clip, the doll does visibly move. It seems to bend at the waist and stays in that position for the remainder of the clip. Kablam updated that she later rehomed all of the dolls to viewers that were interested because she couldn't handle the negative energy she believed they carried with them. Number 5. Facial Changes Brian Lubecki is a YouTuber whose channel revolves around the creepy, freaky, and unexplained. Most of his content is based around his haunted doll collection. Brian has yet to explain what encouraged him to purchase so many haunted dolls, but he claims to have bought most of them from antique shops or online garage sales. In this video uploaded in May 2015, Brian is testing out a new camera and giving a short tour of his haunted doll collection. 
As he goes through the dolls one by one, he continuously passes over a certain doll who seems to move her eyes. In one camera shot, she's looking to the right, in the next to the left, and so on. Sneak peek of our haunted dolls. It's crazy because I got a few of these things at a local um, antique shop. Oh my god, I'm gonna have to really look at this video because it was her eyes just kinda looking at this Annabelle doll just a few minutes ago. I could have swore her eyes were looking at Annabelle doll. That is. But, anyways, yeah, we've been hearing some strange little running upstairs. It's absolutely creepy. Why does it continue to go out of focus? What the fuck? Are you fucking kidding me? After viewing the video and getting a few pointers from fans, he decided to make a video focused on this doll. Throughout the video, which is a close-up of this haunted doll, her eyes move from side to side, roll back, cross, and even close. In addition to these unsettling and almost hilarious eye movements, something even scarier happens. The doll's mouth moves as well. It changes from a frowning position to a smiling position to more of a blank or resting expression. The doll's head also moves very slightly, only a few centimeters at most, but quite clearly when sped up. unlikely that these are mechanical features of the doll and were meant to happen when the doll was in use. However, Brian has explained in several other videos that none of these dolls, especially this one, have batteries in them. From a supernatural standpoint, it seems likely that even though these actions were part of the doll's design, it's still the spirit manipulating the movements. More importantly, not only are these movements creepy when you consider the presence of a spirit, they're fairly creepy on their own as well. Number 4. Walking Doll This video was uploaded sometime in the summer of 2016 and features a tall, cutely dressed doll that can apparently walk. The owner, an older Hispanic woman, shows off the doll walking beside her as they hold hands. The doll's legs move in such a way that makes it appear alive. The movements are almost natural and the woman doesn't seem to be coaxing the motion in any way. Of course, it could be easily brushed off as a trick of the eyes and that the woman really is creating the action herself, it can be assumed that the legs are in place loosely, which makes the walking illusion easy to create. Ah, Rosita. When the owner picks the doll up though, the doll's legs stay in one position, if the legs were loosely in place, they would dangle or swing as the woman picked it up. More importantly, when others try to walk alongside the doll, it doesn't seem to cooperate. One man takes a try, and as he steps forward, the doll doesn't budge. He even tries to sway the doll to the side in a similar motion, but the legs do not move accordingly. A second man steps up and makes another attempt. He recreates the side-to-side -side motion discussed previously, and the doll's legs do move slightly but they seem quite spread apart and the action is not as fluid as before. The doll steps forward slightly, but for the most part does not walk. The owner steps up again and the doll immediately begins to walk with her. The second man takes another try and the doll won't move, but her arm clearly moves on its own as he tries to coax her into walking. Later in the video, the owner even lifts the doll's dress to prove there's no rig system or robotics causing the doll to walk. Many explain that the doll is either haunted by a deceased child or friend of the woman, or by a random spirit that has just taken a liking to the woman. Number 3. Ouija Bear This video features such a strong possession that it is easily discarded as fake. 
The motion of this stuffed teddy bear is perhaps the creepiest and most lively on the list. The most recent upload of the video is from a year ago, but it's been all over YouTube and Facebook for several years now, and the original source has been lost in the array of re-uploads. The video is about two minutes long and features three men sitting beside each other with a Ouija board in their laps. A webcam or low-quality phone camera is set up in front of the men to record anything interesting that may come of the Ouija session. Most uploads of the video do not have audio, so it's hard to make out what the board is saying, if it's saying anything at all. The men become stressed as they play with the board. One man wipes sweat from his forehead, while another adjusts himself in the chair nervously. While this is happening, no one notices that the white bear on the dresser behind them has been making clear, disturbing movements. It began at around 42 seconds in, when the bear moved its head back. It continued to move and looked down at the men with lifelike motion. The man sitting to the far left seems to notice the bear and looks up at it several times, but the bear stops. He tells the other men about it and when they put down the board to investigate, they see nothing wrong with the bear. And when they pick it up, this gives us evidence that no strings or puppeteering is occurring. Frustrated and in disbelief, they all sit back down, but the bear immediately starts to make rapid movements that resemble a possession. This time, all three of the men witness it and run out of the room. Number 2. The Island of Dolls If you're a fan of horror and all things creepy, then you know about the Island of Dolls. Allegedly, the story entails that Don Julian Santera Barrera, the caretaker of the island, found a young girl that had drowned mysteriously in a shallow stream. He attempted to save her, but he was far beyond too late. He later found a doll nearby in a wooded area and assumed it to be hers. He hung the doll in a tree to honor the young girl. At night, he would hear screams, cries, and laughs of the spirit of the dead child. He began to hang more dolls in her honor, which he claims were also haunted by young girls. Eventually, the island was overrun by rotten, old, broken dolls, and Don Julian was driven to madness. Many believe he never found the body of a girl and it was just a story he created in solitude, and many claim that he did find the body which was what drove him to such a drastic point of mental illness. No matter the truth behind Don Julian's story, the island is a sad, creepy, twisted reminder of this poor man's declining mental health. While it's a bit too much to discuss bit by bit, the Ghost Adventures episode based around the island of the dolls is quite riddled with evidence. Dolls begin to laugh or move on their own, EVPs and temperature spots are discovered, and there's a deeper history of the origins of the island and its alleged curse. Ready? No, I'm not ready for this. Oh. Whoa! Bro! Come here! Oh my god. One of them's laughing. Oh my god. Oh my god, bro. Holy f Number 1. Puppet in the Glass A very old and creepy puppet allegedly choked a man. The former owner of this puppet contacted paranormal investigator Jane Harris, claiming that they were too scared to keep the puppet any longer. According to the owner's story, the puppet would move positions when no one was looking, turn its head, objects around the house would become lost or misplaced, and one night the owner woke up to the puppet's arms wrapped tightly around their neck. Jane took on the puppet thinking the previous owner had been exaggerating. However, when she set up a camera to see if any activity was visible, she was left speechless. They locked the puppet in a glass case to prevent it from moving locations, just in case the claims were true. This video shows the puppet's operating cross lifting up and falling against the glass several times. The fact that the puppet itself isn't moving, but the operating cross is, makes many believe that the creator of the puppet is the one haunting and manipulating the doll. Jane assures the glass case has no doors and must be lifted from four sides, so there's no chance of the puppet getting out. Furthermore, this case is blessed so that the spirit is also trapped inside, since it has shown violent behavior before. Before you go, I wanted to tell you about the giveaway I'm hosting. But first off, thanks for watching and leave a like so I know you made it to the end of the video. Don't forget to subscribe because I upload new videos every week. My name is Chills and I'm thanking you all for your support by giving away three $100 Amazon.com gift cards. It's completely free to enter and you can enter the giveaway by visiting the link at the very bottom of the description. It doesn't matter when you're watching this video. 
because top15s.net slash giveaway will automatically direct you to my most recent giveaway. See the terms and conditions on the linked page for full details. If you want to follow me on social media, my Twitter is at yt underscore chills and my Instagram is at Dylan is chillin yt with underscores instead of spaces. Feel free to send me a DM if you have any questions or suggestions. See ya.